video, let us look at what cephalic index is. Cephalic index is the ratio of the maximum breadth of skull with maximum length of skull. So this is the first thing you should understand what cephalic index is. So here they are saying it is the breadth of skull, maximum breadth of skull divided by the maximum length of skull. Okay. So this is the cephalic index. Now basically how will you measure the maximum breadth of skull? The length and breadth of skull is measured preferably with sliding calipers. So we should use an instrument here called as the sliding calipers. Sliding calipers you will take and measure. Hold on. Okay, so now what exactly is the length and breadth you should understand that they have not mentioned in this textbook. Okay, let's uh, maximum breadth of skull and maximum length of skull. So breadth will be what? Between the two parietal eminences, right? The breadth is the distance between the two parietal eminences. Look at this. So basically, if um, uh, this is the breadth, breadth is between the two parietal eminences. Okay, between the two parietal eminences, you're taking the breadth. And what is the length? Length is the distance between glabella <coughs> and the occipital, external occipital protuberance. So do you know what the external occipital protuberance is? So external occipital protuberance you have seen in this diagram. This is the external occipital protuberance. From here to the glabella, whenever you take the distance that will become the length. Okay. So now So basically, have you understood how you take the length and breadth? That much you have understood, right? Breadth means you will take between the parietal eminences. That much you should know. Parietal eminences. And this one is from glabella to external occipital protuberance. Okay. So understand that this parietal, between the parietal, whenever they are taking, usually that will be less solely. As you can see here. The length only is more. What do you see? Mostly the length is more. Okay. Now, <clears throat> based on this, you will get the index. One index you will get. Based on that, you will classify it as type of skull. So, let us say you got 70 to 75, 75 to 80 or you got 80 to 85. Okay. 70 to 75, 75 to 80, 80 to 85. Okay. Now, let us see the type of skull. Here what will happen, it is called as dolicocephalic, it is long-headed. Dolicocephalic is long-headed, you can see in this photo, dolicocephalic is long-headed. Then you have mesatycephalic, that is somewhere in between, so it is medium-headed. Then you have brachycephalic, so this will be short-headed. So, brachycephalic will be short-headed. So, dolicocephalic is long. Brachycephalic is going to be short. Okay, this one is somewhere in between. Indians are actually classified here. Medium-headed. Indians, Chinese and Europeans are classified here. Who and all will be long-headed? Long-headed will be pure Aryans. Those aborigines. That's what the textbook says, guys. That's what I am reading out. So just remember here, this will be long-headed, will be pure Aryans, aborigines and mesatycephalic will be Indians, Chinese, Europeans and who is going to be this brachycephalic? Mongolians. Okay. So remember, what you should know here, you know, some things that you will get confused is, here actually, the index is less, 70 to 75, but it is long-headed. Here it's 80 to 85, but it is short-headed. Understood, no? Okay, guys, so the Indian skull is actually mesocephalic. You have understood that. It has a little dolicocephalic features are there, okay? So it's a mixture between these two they are seeing in India. They are saying coid with negroid features, okay? That's what the textbook says, guys. So just remember, Indians are written here, Indians, Chinese and Europeans are classified in mesatycephalic, okay? 
just understand when they are saying long headed actually the cephalic index is going to be less okay because the length will be more so the divide you are dividing by a longer number bigger number so this value becomes less you understood this so now we are done with cephalic index